2.3H, divide with whole numbers and fractions. Remember, whole numbers can be made into fractions by putting them over one. Or if we have the number 15, we can put it over one because the division bar, or the fraction bar means division, which means 15 divided by one is 15. So we haven't changed the number. Let's see how this applies in example one. Example one is 28 divided by 7 eighths. We must start by changing our whole number into a fraction by placing it over one. Then, remember we do not divide fractions, but always multiply them. So, we have 28 divided by one. We change the division into a multiplication and then we use the reciprocal, or invert, the second fraction, or eight sevenths. Now, we reduce before moving on. Seven goes into twenty-eight four times, and seven goes into seven one time. We now have four times eight is thirty-two, and one times one is one. Remember, if you have an answer, that the fraction has a one in the denominator, you leave that off and you simply write 32 because 32 divided by one is 32. Let's look at example two. In example two, once again, we have a fraction and a whole number. Whole numbers can always be written over one. Now, we turn our division problem into a multiplication problem. And we have four ninths. We turn the division into multiply. And fourteen over one becomes one over fourteen. We can now reduce, then multiply. Two goes into four twice. Two goes into fourteen seven times. And then we multiply across. Two times one is two, and nine times seven is sixty-three. Remember, when dividing with whole numbers and fractions, the whole number can be placed over one before proceeding. Also, remember, when dividing fractions, you turn the division into a multiplication, and then use the reciprocal of the second fraction.